Hi, it's Chantal Girardi here, qualified social media coach and award-winning Facebook strategist. And thank you to Kelly Kingston, who has invited me today onto the Heal Yourself Expo page um, to talk to some of the exhibitors about how they could be using social media um, to get the most out of the expo. So um, I've put together a little slideshow presentation today, which um, hopefully will just help make things a little bit clearer on some simple things that you could be doing in the lead up to the expo um, to basically put yourself in front of more people, uh, get more people to the event, um, and just really get people excited about the fact that uh, with the Hear Yourself Expo, you know, they're going to get education on how they could um, expose to different modalities and education around how they can learn to actually take responsibility for their own health um, and heal themselves, which is really pretty cool. So we all know that you're all fantastic at what it is that you do, and you're obviously very passionate about it. Um, but there's this thing called social media, which just completely stresses and overwhelms everyone. So with no further ado, I will uh, screen share for you and go through my presentation and to see how you guys can get the most out of the expo by using Facebook. So we want you to get, you know, massive presence with your personal and business branding. Uh, we want you to supercharge your business opportunities through the Heal Yourself Expo. Um, so we all agree that social media is a fantastic way for you to grow your audience and be able to be put yourselves in front of more people. So hopefully today I can help you uh, by showing a few, a few different tips. So the expo is actually two-folded. We have the exhibitors and then we have the attendees. So we've got two areas that we really need to focus on. And that is, as I said, getting more exhibitors to the expo. Now, why? Because more exhibitors equals more opportunities. They are potentially also your client and also they bring additional clients, which also may be your clients. So by supporting other exhibitors or getting more people there, um, you're actually putting yourself in front of a whole, whole new audience. So we want to invite or encourage more exhibitors to join the expo. So who is best suited to attend the expo? Well, we're looking for obviously location-based uh, people. So for example, if the event is in Toowoomba, then we're looking for people that would be service-based um, in Toowoomba, their businesses would be in Toowoomba. Or else alternatively, it could be people who sell products or offer their services online. By going into a new location, they're able to now leverage the expo and as I said, Get more visibility by putting themselves in front of a new hot audience. So this increases the people that you're in front of. So we want to remember that, number one, we want to try and help get more exhibitors there on the day. Number two is obviously we want to get people to attend the actual expo on the day. Now, people need to be reminded constantly. We're all incredibly busy. So they have to see the value in attending um, and they also need to be reminded constantly. So to get more people there on the day, if the lead up to the event is very important. The lead up to the expo is very important. They need constant reminders. Um, and their different content is going to resonate or compel different people. So it's important to have varied content, which we're going to discuss a little bit today as well. So let me just show you how. Firstly, we're going to start by creating an event on Facebook. So when you create the event on Facebook, you want to make sure that you have a short, clear event name. It's not cryptic. It's not confusing. It's short and clear. Short because people are only going to see the first couple of words. You can also include a co-host so that you can leverage another business page, meaning that it'll jump onto the other person's page as well. Then you need to invite people to attend, share it across your network, continue to share it across your network, um, including your page, because even though it's in the events section of your page, you want to constantly be bringing it up to the top again. And as I said, you do want to vary the content uh, every time you do share it as well. You want to post in the actual event itself to keep the people who have said that they're interested or going at forefront of mind. And then you need want to follow up with any people who've said that they're interested or going. It's vitally important you follow up those people. And many people fail on that part. You want to tag relevant people to reach more people and put yourself in front of those people. And remember to talk about what you're offering on the day. Include that we're uh, also include that we are looking for other exhibitors. And also you want to also let them know what else is happening there at, at the expo. So who else is exhibiting? Who else is speaking? Because yes, they may want to come and support you. But potentially by hearing that other people are there, it might compel them to take action and actually attend on the day. 
So post or share varied content publicly um, about the expo. Um, and who else would benefit from attending um, or exhibiting? So here's some of the places that you could be doing this. On your Facebook personal profile, because some of your friends who already know, like, and trust you may wish to know about the expo that's coming up. Uh, also Facebook story, your business pages, any of your Facebook groups, remembering to always follow the group guidelines. You may use Snapchat, LinkedIn, Instagram, Instagram stories, Twitter. You may have a database, uh, which is your email system. So remember to email out the details to them. Face-to-face -face or networking. So remember to mention it at your networking events. Text or messenger, you could create a friendly text with event details and send it out to anybody who you think may be interested in remember either exhibiting or, at, or attending on the day. And then good old fashioned calling, there's nothing better than picking up the phone and actually calling people who you think that this would suit. Um, and as I mentioned before, don't forget to actually go into the Facebook event itself and post relevant content in there to keep people interested. So to reach more people, generate more clients and grow your business, we need to be consistent. And that's in our messaging, our branding, and in the time. So messaging is in your key messaging and the content that you're saying so that it's perfectly clear on what it is that you're offering. Your branding, so all your images and your branding, your fonts, your colors are all consistent. And the time, so people get into a rhythm of how often you post. So for example, you may have a schedule of today I'm gonna do, on Fridays I might do lives, on Saturdays, I might share a success story. On Tuesdays, I might do a testimonial. So people get into a bit of a rhythm. You wanna call your ideal client in your headline. So, hey, are you looking to heal yourself? Hey, are you um, suffering in pain at the moment and looking for various modalities that could potentially help you? Um, and then, as I mentioned, you wanna identify their pain. You wanna solve their problem. You wanna create captivating content, which educates, gives social proof and shows your credibility. So how many years have you been in the industry? Um, have you got any awards that you've won? Are you registered or insured? Uh, social proof is what other people say about you. So testimonials um, and success stories. And then showing obviously your education is really important. Sharing helpful tips so that people can build that relationship with you and want to come on the day. Um, and then you need to compel them to that is why you take to action, okay? And as I said, it's twofold here. We are looking for exhibitors, more exhibitors to attend the expo, and we're looking for more people to attend on the day. So exhibitors, pull out a um, expressions of interest form here, and attendees, if you're wishing to attend on the day, click going to the event so we can follow up on you. And then, of course, use all available platforms. So like I said, don't forget face-to-face, -face, your database, and all your social media. So tagging, by tagging and using the at, so at Heal Yourself Expo or at Kelly Kingston, you can tag relevant people, speakers, and other exhibitors. It's gonna give you credibility and leverage and put yourself in front of, in front of other people um, who potentially are also your clients. Uh, you'd also wanna to remember to use the relevant hashtags um, and to tag relevant pages by using that at. So for example, uh, at the Heal Yourself Expo or tagging the actual expo event page. So consistency, it's not selling, it's serving. So many people go, oh my gosh, I don't want to bug everybody. I don't want to feel like I'm selling to everyone all the time. It's not selling, it's serving. Potentially your ideal client is out there right now and needs you, but because you're not out there being consistent and your messaging's not clear um, and you're not reminding them that you're there and of all the things that you could do to help them, you're actually not helping them. So it's not selling, it's serving. So ways to create your content are Facebook Lives, posting, sharing, uh, video marketing, educating, testimonials, success stories, telling your story, um, the problem that you solve, and your why. So this is only an example um, because you should know your own platforms and you need to respect each platform for what it is. But my recommendation would be to post on Facebook daily, um, which would be four times a week, because if you post three times a week on Instagram and link your Instagram to your Facebook, that means you've got three already covered on, on Facebook, which means it's only an additional four times in the week that you would post. Um, out to uh, email database, you would want to go at least once per week if you have a database. And if you don't have a database, I would seriously have a look at your, um, at your funnel 
on how you get clients and I would definitely look at creating um, a way for you to start collecting uh, people's email addresses so that you can email them. Um, LinkedIn once per week. And if you have Twitter, you could always link your LinkedIn to Twitter, um, which means you've got Twitter covered as well. But always remember to include a call to action. So call to action is book now. Who wants this? Register here. Click going to the event. Exhibitors expression of interest form is here. And make it easy pe for people to just click on it um, and take action. Right, so if you are stuck, <laughs> there are heaps of free resources on my website, www.chantelgerardi.com.au. There are blogs, podcasts, eBooks, Facebook Lives, um, heaps of free training resources on my website. So jump on and grab all of it. Alternatively, all exhibitors that have been registered for the Heal Yourself Expo can book a 15 minute call um, on my website and I will happily answer any questions that you have with regards to this. We want you to get the most out of the expo. Um, you've paid money to be there for two days. And instead of just being there for two days and it amounting to nothing, there are a few simple things that you could do in the lead up to the expo to get more people there on the day, to give your, your business the online boost that potentially it is needing right now. So as I said, if you are stuck, book in that 15 minute call and I'll happily answer any questions that you may have. Um, alternatively, in the comments down below at the bottom of this live, please feel free to go in and ask any questions and I'll publicly answer them for you um, over the weekend as well. So happy Friday. I hope you got some valuable tips out of that. And um, there is actually a blog on my website as well, which, dis which talks about events um, and how to run events on Facebook. So jump on, have a look. Uh, there is actually, I think, another Facebook Live as well, which is on events. Um, and if you need any help, as I said, reach out, call me, and let's have a chat to see how we can get you leveraging the most, uh, getting the most out of the expo by leveraging uh, your business on social media. Have an amazing weekend, guys. Chat soon. Bye.